Hello everybody, how's it going? This is Mr. Your Willy and I'm here to do a video tutorial on how to install FOMCraft 2. Now I'm going to go ahead and link this website in the descriptions below so you can get all the download links from there. Now the reason I'm doing this is MeanDadad9576 was having issues downloading this mod and getting it to work so I'm going to show him as well as anybody else who's having issues or just wants to know how to install it well now you can know so go to the website and then go to the download section here you'll see direct or adf dot ly download so adf either way doesn't matter you can click one or the other whichever you feel like now you do gotta realize it says right here what minecraft version it works for currently it works for 1.2.3 if you've updated to 1.2.4 it will not work he says right here in nice big red letters that he's decided to skip that version and he's waiting for 1.2.5. So if you have upgraded to 1.2.4, you need to either wait till 0.5 comes out or downgrade your Minecraft in the meantime. So you have to decide that. Um, once you've downloaded Thomcraft, you need to go to the installation section on Hide It and install Mod Loader, Mod Loader MP, and Forge. He has links to the latest version, so you just you can just click those, download the latest versions, and you're good to go. That's why I'm not adding those links to the descriptions, because this will have the most up-to-date versions of those. So, after you downloaded those four different links, you want to go to your .minecraft folder. Now, this is in your roaming folder, in your app data, in your username, and so on and so forth. If you're on Windows, you can just click percent app data, percent, hit enter, and that will bring you to your roaming folder. Then you just click .minecraft. If you're on a Mac, you need to find out how to do that yourself, because I don't own a Mac. If you Google how to find my Minecraft folder on a Mac, you should find the answer really quickly. Now in here, you have a couple different things. These two folders aren't supposed to be there right now. I accidentally forgot to delete them. But this is what it'll look like um, once you open this folder on a fresh install of Minecraft. Open up the bin folder, and you'll have a Minecraft.jar. If you double-click this, you're going to get an error. What you want to do is right-click it, open with WinRAR. You can also use 7-Zip or any application like that. Any archiver will work. Now, once you open it up, it'll look exactly like this, as long as you haven't modified the files or anything. And you'll see this meta file. You want to delete it right off the bat. Don't forget to delete it, because if you do, nothing will work. And then you want to open up your mod loader. No, not rename it. <laughs> open it. There we go. And basically just select it just by holding down and selecting it and dragging it. You want to drag it over here because if you drag it up here, you might accidentally put it in the folder. So drag it where the classes are. Then click OK. And then you want to do mod loader MP and drag it and OK. And then Minecraft Forge. Now you can click Control A, which is select all. Or you can select the top one, go to the bottom, hold shift, and click the bottom one. Either way, it works. Drag, drop, OK. And yes, you do want to drag and drop these folders as well. If you forget those, it won't work. Now, those three you have to do in order. You have to do mod loader, then mod loader MP, then forge. If you do it any other way, you could have an issue and it won't work because they override each other. There are certain files that it replaces. Then you want to open up Minecraft. Log in. And it'll tell you you want to update if you're running 1.2.3. You obviously want to say not now, because if you say yes, it'll pr completely undo everything you just did. Now you load up into Minecraft. Good. So far, so good. And then you can quit. And you don't need this folder anymore. And now if you go to your .minecraft folder, now you'll see the config and mod folders. They're going to be empty. Besides, config will have your... Minecraft Forge, Mod Loader MP, and Mod Loader files from the three you just installed. The mods will be completely empty. You want to drag Thomcraft into here. And that's it. Open up Minecraft. Log in again. Once again, tell it not to update. And it will load. And there you go. Now, this is a pretty much sure it's working. But if you really, really want to make sure that's working, Go into here, start a creative world, and in the creative world, if you go into your inventory, and you scroll down a bit, here I'll even make it a little bit easier for you guys to see, there we go, 
Scroll down a bit and you'll start seeing the Thom Craft items. So it's working. Good. You're done. Now, if you're running multiple Minecraft mods like Red Power or Industrial Craft, most of those work just like Thomcraft. You just drag it into the mod folder. Do be aware that you have to make sure that they all work for the same version of Minecraft. Obviously, Industrial Craft and Buildcraft has a version for 1.2.4 out, I believe, right now, where Thomcraft doesn't. So you do want to make sure that you're running the same versions of the files. Another thing is that some mods conflict with each other using the item ID. If you go into the config file, you'll see a mod underscore thomcraft.config and a thomcraft2 config. This is the one you want to open up. You can open up in Notepad. I like using Notepad++ because, well, it's nicer, it's easier to see code type formats. Now, in here, you'll see a lot of information. Um, the one that you want to be more attentive to is the block ID because this is the one that usually has an issue. So if you go in here, you'll see all these different values. If your Minecraft loads and gives you this kind of like blue screen with a scroll text menu in the middle, you scroll down it says so and so having issue with block ID 244. That means this ID is the same between two different plugins and you gotta change it to something that's not being used like 210 or whatever. Whichever ID isn't being used that's within the value range that Minecraft is agreeing with. If it's outside that range, Minecraft will just crash right away and you have to change the ID again. You can also change certain things about the mod itself. Like in here, you can change what mods or what, you know, ores are being smeltable from other mods like Nicolite from uh, Red Power, Red Alloy Ingots, Marble, you know, so on and so forth. And it says right here how to do that. The smelting values for the items from other mods. Give the item the following name, so marble, then this symbol, and then the vis value. So marble has a vis value of 1. I could change that. I could say marble has a vis value of 1,000. No, no, no. We need to make it better. 9,000, if you felt like it. But of course, that would obviously offset your you know, game. So if you do add in custom things like basalt cobblestone, as you can see, it has an underscore here because it has a space in the name. You know, if you add something from another mod that you feel should be used in the crucible, you do need to make sure that you give it a reasonable value. And you can figure that out all on your own. That's the end of the tutorial. I hope that this helped you from everything from how to install the mod to how to modify the mod. If you have any questions, you can always ask below in a comment and hopefully you like this video and subscribe if you're not already subscribed to my channel and I shall see you all later this is Mr. Willie signing off adios